Hi, welcome to Pathology Riddles. Today we are going to deal with the topic of pathology of cell aging in a question answer format. The first question is why do we age? We age because our cells are aging. Why is it important to study cell aging? Because cell aging does not just affect us cosmetically, it, it is also a risk factor to many diseases like ischemic heart diseases, Alzheimer's, cancer and many other chronic diseases. Define cell aging. It is a result of progressive decline in the lifespan and functional capacity of cells. What are the four main contributing factors of cell aging? The four main contributing factors are accumulation of DNA mutation, defective protein homeostasis, decreased cell replication, and prolonged inflammation. What are the causes of DNA damage leading to aging? The endogenous cause is free radical or reactive oxygen species accumulation, while exogenous cause include toxins and radiation exposure. How does DNA mutation cause cell aging? As we age, the DNA repair enzyme which normally repairs the DNA becomes inefficient. So the mutation accumulate in the mitochondrial and nuclear DNA. This leads to inefficient functioning and survival of cells, hence cell ages. What are telomeres? Telomeres are basically the end of chromosomes that are repeated sequences of DNA. What is the function of telomeres? Telomeres help in complete replication of chromosome ends. They also protect the chromosome ends from their fusion and degradation. What is replicative senescence? Our cells have an ability to divide for a fixed number of cell divisions. This excludes stem cells. After completing those fixed number of cell divisions, they go in a non-dividing state. This is called replicative senescence. How is it that replicative senescence is related to aging? The telomeres shorten progressively with each cell division so they cannot protect the end of the chromosome. The cell senses these chromosomes as broken DNA and the cell undergoes maturation arrest or replicative senescence. What is telomerase? Telomerase is an enzyme that adds nucleotide to the end of chromosomes. Which cells have telomerase? The cells which are replicating forever like germ cells, stem cells and cancer cells. These cells will have telomerase. Mention few abnormalities or diseases caused due to defective telomere maintenance. The diseases are aplastic anemia, premature graying of hair, skin pigmentation, pulmonary fibrosis, liver fibrosis, nail abnormalities. These diseases are called telomeropathies. As we age, what causes persistent or chronic inflammation? So as we age, the ability of cell to repair and function optimally reduces. As a re result, there is an accumulation of damaged cells, lipids and other endogenous substances. These activate inflammasome which releases cytokines and health inflammation is persistent or chronic. How does chronic or persistent inflammation contribute to aging? Persistent or chronic inflammation produces cytokines which can accelerate aging. Inflammation also induces development of chronic diseases like atherosclerosis and type 2 diabetes. The damage caused by these diseases accelerate aging. What do you mean by defective protein homeostasis? Normally there is a balance between protein synthesis and protein degradation. As we age, the synthesis reduces and the protein degradation increases. Why is protein synthesis reduced as we age? This is due to reduced activity of chaperons which help in proper folding of proteins. 
also due to reduced translation of protein, reduced activity of proteasomes which destroy misfolded proteins. What happens when misfolded proteins accumulate in cells? When misfolded protein accumulate in cells, there is a loss of functional proteins. Apoptosis is triggered and hence increased degradation. Does calorie restriction help in slowing down aging and prolonging life? Yes, it has been shown to slow down aging in different species from flies to mice. But how does it do that? One of the mechanism is reducing the insulin-like growth factor receptor signaling. Reduced IGF-1 signaling reduces cell growth and metabolism, increases DNA repair and improves protein homeostasis. It also improves immunity, hence contributes to decreasing cell aging and our aging. That's all for today. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. This is Dr. Bismay signing out.